loves faithful. Get ready to dive into the heart of the action, the pulse of the community, and the spirit of your Colorado Avalanche. It's time for Avs Inside, bringing you exclusive access to the Burgundy and Blue. And now here's your host, Rachel Toss. Welcome back to Ballerina Avs Faithful. Your Colorado Avalanche have won three straight games. They're 6-1-0 in their last seven. And tonight, they are taking on the Tampa Bay Lightning. So we're going to see the two teams that were battling it out in the 2022 Stanley Cup Final. Of course, the Avs winning that in six games. Now tonight for this regular season game, the Avs coming in with a lot of momentum after just defeating the Calgary Flames in this building just two nights ago. Nathan McKinnon in that game had a goal and an assist. So a lot of fun had on Saturday night. Let's take a look back at the highlights. Surveying sends it down to he scores! I mentioned Nathan McKinnon having a two-point now night. Now, McKinnon did miss morning skate today. Head coach Jared Bednar just saying that he was feeling under the weather. But the good news is McKinnon was out on the ice for warm-ups. That is great news, of course. This team is going to need their superstars tonight as they're taking on the Tampa Bay Lightning, who are pretty hot as of late. They are 4-0-1 through their last of five games. Now, tonight's game could be a great special teams matchup with Tampa's power play versus Colorado's penalty kill. The Lightning have a power play streak of five games in which they have gone nine for 19 in their last outing on Friday. They went four for five against Carolina. They are now second in the National Hockey League at 34.7% and have 25 total power play goals, which is the most in the NHL. On the other hand, the Avs have killed 24 of their last 26 penalties. They stopped all four of Calgary's opportunities on Saturday and held them to just one shot in seven minutes, 22 seconds. And to just give you more information on that, Avs head coach Jared Bednar this morning said that Tampa's power play has been the best power play in the NHL for many seasons. He says if you make one little mistake, they really make you pay for it. But... There's arguably not many people that know this Tampa Bay team much better than Avs forward Ross Colton, who spent the last three seasons with the Tampa Bay Lightning. So we chatted with Ross this morning to get his nights, get his thoughts on tonight's game. Here's Ross with more. It'll definitely be weird. You know, uh, thankful for my time there. Obviously, uh, winning Stanley Cup, have some great memories, some great friends that, you know, I'll have forever. But, uh, yeah, it's just another game and kind of looking forward to it. Anytime you're playing against somebody that you used to be on, um, you obviously want to um, show what they're missing out on, I think is a good way to put it. But, you know, obviously it's a business. Things happen for a reason. Uh, I'm obviously so happy to be, you know, part of the Avalanche. So uh, they have a lot of high-end skill, obviously, guys that could fill the back of the net. Um, Vazzy's back, so they're going to get really good goaltending. Um, they just play a well-structured game. They're well-coached. Um, you know, got four lines top to bottom that could obviously produce. So it um, should be a good test for us. We're approaching finishing up the first quarter of the season. How would you assess where this team's at right now? I think uh, these last couple games, we've definitely been playing well. I think, um, you know, we're kind of finally putting together a full 60 minutes, minus that, I think, uh, the Nashville game there where we struggled at the end. But, you know, other than that, I think uh, guys are kind of just buying in. We're kind of into forming more of an identity um, from top to bottom. And, um, you know, defense has been playing well. Goalies have been great. So it's been... So that was Ross Colton talking about facing his former team tonight in the Tampa Bay Lightning. Now we're going to move on to talking about Jonathan Druan, who is also facing his former team, the team that drafted him, matter of, fa matter of fact. But Jonathan Druan had a goal in the last game. He has three goals so far this season, but through just 58 games last 
season, he only had two goals. He's had two goals in the last three games, three goals already this season. So needless to say, we are seeing a lot of improvement from Jonathan Duran. That confidence is just continuing to rise. So for more on this, let's get you upstairs. Here's Mark Mosier and Mark Rycroft with your Altitude Update. All right, Rachel, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Well, Avalanche fans, don't look now, but Jonathan Druin has goals in two of his last three games. And he's really starting to heat up Riker because he's also dishing the puck off. I think that 20 games into the year, he's really starting to find his game and be the guy the Avs wanted him to be when they signed him. 100%. The third overall pick to Tampa Bay back in 2013. And in the locker room today, he said he's starting to play on instinct. Now, he knows his line mates. He's comfortable in the system. He's not overthinking it. And those numbers show you right there. As you said, two goals in an apple the last three games. But the confidence that he's playing with, that's what I love. He also needed to get to know his line mates just a little bit. And he certainly has done that. And Ryan Johansson, the Tomas Tatar. So watch out for 27 coming up tonight. Avalanche fans, he's starting to really feel that game. And if you can get that depth scoring the way you need it, oh boy, all things are possible. All right, Rachel, we'll send it back downstairs to you. Well, thank you so much, gentlemen. Yeah, Jonathan Duran on pace to have one heck of a season. Fans, let's now get to tonight's starting goaltenders. It will be Alexander Georgiev in net tonight for your Colorado Avalanche. He is still leading the National Hockey League in wins with a dozen victories and has gone 5-1-0 and with a 234 goals against average and 903 save percentage in his last six starts. Georgie is 1-2-2 two, and two when facing Tampa Bay in the regular season in his career. And fans, you heard Ross Colton mention earlier that the Lightning now have their goaltender back in Andre Vasilevsky. He will be in net tonight for the Tampa Bay Lightning. The 29-year-old returned to the team on Friday and stopped 22 of 24 shots in his season debut. He is 3-3-1 three, three, and one when facing the Avs in the regular season in his career. And for tonight's points bet picks, if you don't have it yet, take out that cell phone right now and download the app by pointing your phone at the QR code on your screen. As you can see here, over under six and a half goals as we enter this game. And just so you know, when placing those bets, something to keep in mind, Colorado has outscored the opposition 11 of five over their last three games. And fans, on December 4th, PointsBet is transitioning to Fanatic Sportsbook. For now, you can continue playing with PointsBet as you please, but stay tuned for more info as we count down to the launch. Fanatic Sportsbook, more merch, more rewards, and way more to come. And as always, if the Avs do score on the power play tonight, then everyone 21 and older will receive a free $10 bet. The Avs have scored a power play goal in seven straight games. So in this season, Colorado is 12-0-0 when they score on the man advantage. So make sure to take advantage of that free bet tonight if it does happen. And this season, XL Energy and Energy Outreach Colorado teaming up on the Energy Assist campaign. For every Avs home assist, XL Energy will donate $1,000 to EOC to help provide home energy assistance to Coloradans in need. The assist total tonight looking nice, 69 total home assists for a total donation of $69,000. And fans, that does it for Avs Inside, powered by XL Energy for this pregame edition. It's the first of two meetings between your Colorado Avalanche and the Tampa Bay Lightning. Puck drop is coming up soon. I will see you after the first period. Go Avs.